Welcome back to another episode of Brewing with Ty. Today we are going to be making the real apple cider. And as you can see, we have it going right now. Three different apples. We have a pink lady, we have a honey crisp, and two granny smith. So I'll bring you back in here in a minute. All right, so <clears throat> we got the apples down to right around 98 degrees. So they are good to go into the fermenter, which hopefully I don't make a huge mess. But the best thing about these little big mouth bubblers is they have a big mouth. Didn't make a mess. So like I said before, we are using the yeast. We are using tea trop. Tea top, not tea trop. I've never had it before, but literally all it is is apple juice. Get some air going into it. And we're just gonna add all of the apple juice. Get some airflow. Taking a gravity reading before I add the pectic enzyme or the, the yeast. So let's go past all that. So I can take a calculation myself. Set that back over here, give her a twirl, and we are sitting at one, oh wow, 1.500, I'm sure it is, 27 grams per eight ounces, so we're at 1.500. So since everything is sanitized, I want to look at this again. Make sure I'm looking at this right. I want to be on this one. 1.500. So the added apples for sure gave it more of a boost. Like I said, I had two Granny Smith apples and I had a Pink Lady and a Honey Crisp. So. Get that back in. Next, I want to do my pectic enzyme, which what this does is break it down and make the make it clear. This is actually from North Mountain. It's a two ounce jar. I will stir all of this in. So go ahead and get that mixed in good. Now I tried this last time at the house before we had our house fire and the fermenter that I had was so small. I had to take out so many apples, so many. So this one's keeping all of the apples and yeah. So there's that. Like I said, this is the safe fail. 05. We want four grams. Three. Four grams. So two grams of yeast is typically what you do. I always do a little bit more just for the simple fact that I want it to ferment, ferment fermentation to go better. We're just going to mix this in in our little bowl. By the way, this is apple juice. That way I'm not putting any water into the, into the brew. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and dump her in. Center. 
There it is. Then what I'm actually going to do is take a siphon and go around the sides, get everything else that didn't go down the first time. Go back in. Hit it up maybe one more time. Not a lot left. Boom. There you have it. So what we did, let me get the lid on. Make sure the lid's tight. So to recap on what we did, we, heat it, we heated up the apples to 160 degrees. We let it cool to 110. This one I cooled, let it cool down to 98. We're going to wait a few days, push the apples back down into it. That way we don't get no funk, no mold, no growth, bacteria growth or anything. Uh, we used four grams of the Safe Ale US05. We used a half a teaspoon of the pectic enzyme. And we also used the treetop apple juice, three apple blend. Also, we used two Granny Smith apples, a Pink Lady apple, and a Honeycrisp. They were all large apples. So now all we have to do is sit here and wait. So as for me, as always, stay at ready, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay thirsty.